Hi, you've tuned into Gila Nehemia, Sacred Erotic Poetry, Sacred Sexuality, and Ascension Podcast. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Today is April 9th, and we are um, we're in between the new moon and the full moon coming in Libra. It is a waxing crescent moon today, um, so I'm going to be talking about that and, and more. So before we get started, let us take three deep breaths together. We're calling in our guides, our angels, God, source, universe, our ancestors, our um, our soul family, the Palladians, the Lyrans, the Andromedans. We're calling in our past lives. We're calling in our light. We're calling in our star seed origins to emerge to um, connect with our higher selves. We're calling in the crystalline light and grid to assist us in our ascension path and our true highest journey. Aho, and so it is. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. So I wanted to come on today. Um, I hope that you listened, enjoyed, um, felt something from the previous healing in my last podcast for the new moon in Aries. If you haven't heard it, I recommend that you listen to it. Uh, it's good at any time. Um, it, it, it's a healing that, that can be done on the new moon, but can be done at any time. So um, as I said earlier, we are, we're moving from the new moon in Aries into the full moon in Libra. Um, and then at the end of the month, the full moon in Libra will be around the 16th. And then at the end of the month, we're going to have a solar eclipse in Taurus. Um, so the full moon in Libra is about harmony. And um, so you might be feeling like I am you know, really gung-ho about a new project or new projects or new goals, new ideas, new dreams, um, or even existing dreams that are starting to uh, materialize. And um, maybe um, a little bit burnt out or um, I, I'm feeling like sometimes we, um, we're, we see obstacles or we're not giving ourselves enough self-care because uh, we have some resistance within ourselves because we know we're limitless, we know we can do anything, we know that we are um, highly capable, um, yet uh, sometimes there's that small voice inside of us that um, where we are, we have some self-limiting beliefs. And surprisingly enough, this morning, um, as I was looking up my, I have a moon app, and uh, you know how I'm feeling today um, with this uh, waxing crescent moon, uh, that's what came up. And so it really did resonate with me. I had actually been um, working on affirmations and, you know, writing down, I am enough, I am powerful. I was doing tapping as I did in the new moon um, uh, healing. I was doing tapping and uh, because I know I'm moving through um, a new portal and I'm, you know, I'm, I'm feeling tested um, and I, I know what I'm capable of. And at the same time, a part of me feels that it can't do it or um, it's not going to be perfect. So I want to talk about that. You know, what does it mean to be a perfectionist? What does it mean to um, to do the best that you can at any given stage? Because, you know, things move in stages. Like just think about the, um, you know, the chrysalis, the, the caterpillar as it moves into um, becoming a butterfly or, um, you know, a baby, like an embryo as it starts in your womb and, and then begins to form and then comes out and then, you know, the various stages of human life even, you know, there are so many stages, right? And so we can't go from, you know, being zero to uh, 25, you know, we have to actually go through those straight stages. It doesn't have to be schooling or any of that, but we, you know, we mature, we grow, we learn how to walk, you know, first we learn how to crawl, then we learn how to walk, you know, it's all in stages. And so, you know, Anything that we're going to be doing is also in stages. And so if it doesn't happen right away, there's nothing to be upset about. There's nothing to be, um, you know, to um, 
think about too much. I think um, I know that I've done this in relationships and uh, in, uh, in my career, uh, and it doesn't matter in coaching, in my workplace, it doesn't really matter where I am. I you know, already want to be at the end goal. Um, but we have to work with the end in mind. You know, if any of you ever read Napoleon Hill, um, uh, that is really, th that's, the, that's the key, right? We work with the end in mind, but we are still in the present moment. You know, so if you take Napoleon Hill and also Eckhart Tolle, you know, we're, we're, we have to be in the present moment at all times. So if we are not feeling it at the present moment, take a break. You know, Isaac Asimov also says, um, I, I heard in a motivational speech this, this week, you know, we must, in, in order to change, we have to change, right? And we have to change up all the time because there are so many things, so many patterns that we have and behaviors that we do that we, um, that aren't really serving us. You know, and, and sometimes we're just like, well, we don't know what to do, so we just don't do anything. Sometimes that's okay. You know, sometimes it's okay to like relax, take care of yourself. Not doing anything is also something because you might be um, resting. You know, your body needs rest. Your body needs to um, mull over things. You know, your mind needs to mull over things. You, you need to be in the sunshine. I was in the sunshine earlier and um, an issue happened with the donkey outside and my dog. <laughs> came back inside to, to do this podcast. Um, but, you know, it's, it was really nice to be in the sunshine, to lie in the sun, to uh, receive the energy of the sun, um, have it on my skin. You know, I went to the beach last week. And so all of those things are really, um, I feel, uh, really important from, from my self-care. And also to, um, to balance it. So I think as we're moving into the harmony of the full moon, you may be feeling this reassessment. I know I'm feeling this, like reassessing where am I, what am I doing, um, what's important to me, where am I putting my priorities right now, so many things are changing, and how do I flow with it, you know, and that is the key, right, the key when we're in the present moment is to flow with it, and, you know, we have stressed this all the time, you know, how do we deal with our stress, are we doing yoga? Are we doing meditation? Are we listening to, you know, binaural beats? Or are we just listening to just um, really nice music to calm our mind and our soul and to just um, remember that we are enough? And I, I feel like I can't stress that enough. I mean, it definitely has been on my mind. So I feel like it may be some people in the collective are feeling this as well. You know, we're enough. We are um, everything that we need. We're powerful. We can't. We are limitless. Um, it's the way I started my business by um, by when I started my summit. You know, I uh, when I interviewed a few people, I remembered that that was what I really wanted to be. I wanted to be limitless, and I know that I am. And I also know that when my body is telling me to stop, I need to stop. Um, you know, to listen, to to remember its wisdom to remember my heart wisdom, to not just focus in on the, on the mental, um, you know, on the brain. Because uh, it's, there's, you know, there's so many possibilities in our brain, right? But we, but I feel, at least for me, you know, and I, I feel like for all of us, we, we need to balance. Everything needs to be balanced with our bodies, with our emotions, um, with our lives. You know, we never live in one plane or in one dimension. We're consistently in a variety of different dimensions. And how do we balance out those dimensions? How do we balance our, our creative, imaginative um, minds and, and emotions with, um, with the practicality of life? You know, and, and I think that that harmony of this full moon, you know, it's actually the beginning of an astrological cycle, right? So this full moon is also that beginning. So it, it's so beautiful that we're starting out with harmony for next, next week, but we're preparing for that harmony now. So if there are things that you need to release, if there's just time you need to spend with yourself, it's also the beginning of Passover um, for, um, for many people. Um, and I know that uh, Easter also, I think, um, is usually around the end of Passover. So it's, it's definitely because many of us are following the, the moon cycles. And, and Ramadan began at the beginning of the month with the new moon in Aries. And will end at the month. It's a full month um, where they're spiritually devoted, which is, why, which is why they don't eat during the day and they only eat at night and they read the Quran. I, you know, I did look it up. Um, and as you know, it's, it's the water tiger. Um, it's a Chinese New Year water tiger. is So there's so many energies at play here. Um, and, um, 
And it's just a beautiful, beautiful time. And yet we are still asked to remember that, you know, to focus on balance, balancing our lives, balancing our desires, balancing ourselves and coming back to center. You know, because as we know that we are these spiritual beings living in an earthly existence, our earthly existence actually helps us to, um, you know, to ground what is spiritually expanding our consciousness. And I feel like that's, it's, it's like this um, epiphany. You know, and I, and I also understood for myself and maybe others, you know, who are listening, so I'm just sharing, uh, really, this, this podcast is about sharing because I feel like people might be feeling these things and I don't talk about them a lot, but I think it's important because it's, it's happening in my everyday and it's probably happening to some of you. So, you know, even though I know in my relationships, um, you know, that I'm a sovereign being and, and I am with people who are also sovereign beings are striving to be sovereign beings and we're together, whether it's a friendship, or it's a coworker, it's a, you know, a, a coaching um, relationship, you know, whatever it is, a, a romantic relationship, you know, we are moving together in our sacred journeys, but also in, you know, in our work. You know, there, I feel like there were still parts of me that need validation. You know, you're doing great, you know, and, and I think it's great to have that, though I felt like um, I needed it to continue, you know, and I realized that the only validation I need is that I exist. I exist. And I don't need anyone to tell me I exist because at the bottom of that, you know, saying you're doing a good job. Yeah, it's going well. I felt personally that that it's the recognition of my existence. And the only one that can affirm that is me. So it was it was a really big epiphany for me that, you know, It's not that I don't need anyone. Of course I do. I work interdependently with everybody, my children, you know, my animals, everyone, my neighbors. I work interdependently with them, but I don't need them to validate me. And I think that it's a big deal for those of us who have gone through trauma, generational trauma that have been throughout throughout our lives, you know, needing that validation. Um, maybe not consciously knowing it, but realizing that that is a part of our psyche that we've socially conditioned to um, to conform with and understanding that that is really no longer a necessity anymore or no longer even valid or true. You know, we exist because we exist. I am, right? I just am. There's nothing more to say. You saying that I did a good job or not doing a good job doesn't mean that, you know, doesn't need to validate my existence. My existence is because it is. And I I do whatever I do because I want to. Nobody forces me to. You might feel forced, but really you're deciding, you're making a choice to do something. And um and to understand that that is um you know just that that is, you know, it's really a point of self-inquiry of like do do you feel that you are just your existence, you know, are you, um, do you accept your own existence? Do you accept your own gifts? Do you accept your own path? Uh, what, what do you want to do with it? You know, like, where do you want to go with it? Uh, because everything is open. We're in a time where everything is open. All paths are open. Any path you take is going to lead you to goodness. Um, so, you know, as long as you're conscious and aware, and always remembering that you are and you exist and because you exist you are a part of the cosmos and you're an important piece of the cosmos and i feel that for me like that's all i need (laughs) that's all i need to know you know um everything else you know comes second because I don't know. We no, None of us maybe know what's next. We are in a space of the unknown. Everything is unfolding right now. Um, though, as we just focus in on that flow, on that presence, on that I am statement, uh, and you could, you know, 
I'm inviting you to put anything after it if you want to. You know, there are many things you are, right? Um, but at the very top, you are, or wherever, at the very center, or wherever it is, right? You are. And then there are concentric circles all around it. Um, but this is the core of you. You are. I am. And that's, that's all, that's all there is, right? Because within that is there's light, there's multidimensionality, there is, there's so much. Um, so those two words seems like there it's, it's, you know, you want to explain more, but you don't need to, right? You just, you just need to be with it. Um, it just, just a few minutes ago, you know, my, my dog was, um, upset at the donkey because the donkey was in our territory and the donkey is our neighbor's, um, animal eating grass in our, our lawn. And, uh, and she got upset, you know, she started to, to get a little bit, um, she started to be a little bit of a bully, you know, this is her territory and she was okay yesterday, but today she wasn't okay. You know, I didn't get upset at her. You know, she's a dog. This is her territory. This is how she reacts. That's the way it is, you know, um, and they can move the donkey over and she'll be okay again. And so we have to understand like, what, what does my dog need? You know, how can I give her what she needs? And, you know, yeah, I didn't, I didn't want her to do that to the donkey, but that's what happened. And there's no reason to reprimand. It's trying to understand her better. So, you know, it's just a good lesson for, um, for, and for me, for anyone, you know, like when we are in a state of conflict, you know, it's, it's not about blaming or getting upset. It's about trying to understand further. What, do, what do we need? What do we need with another being? Maybe she, you know, I think she needs her own space know that it's hers and nobody can come into it unless she invites them. And she didn't invite, I invited the donkey, but she didn't invite it. So that's not okay with her. And that's what she told me. And, and I respect that of her um, because, you know, we work together. We are beings that are living together interdependently and we work together. So I'm just inviting you into that space of when, um, you know, when we're upset or we're getting stressed out or, you know, something's going on in our lives, like to just look at it and be conscious of it and be aware. And what is it that we're trying to learn and how we're going to go forward? Um, because that's all that there is, you know, I am, you are, she is, you know, we, we, we move together. We flow together. Um, whether we flow together, you know, physically, or we flow together in our own worlds, moving towards the same goal, whatever that is. And I feel like that is the harmony, right? That's the harmony we're moving into with this full moon in Libra. And um, so I'm inviting you into that, into that space. I wanted to just um, take a few deep breaths to really feel that and maybe just do a really short meditation. It's just coming to me now. So if you'd like to close your eyes with me, let's take three deep breaths. I'm inviting you to to envision what harmony looks like for you. Allow it to come in as an image, as words, as sounds. as a psychic knowing. Creating a space now to open up into this full harmony with ourselves, with the divine, our guides, our soul family, our purpose. Inviting in harmony musical harmony, peaceful harmony. Let's take a deep breath to just uh, 
imprint that on our hearts. Calling in Holy Mother, Holy Father to bathe us in the still waters of crystalline lights, of nourishing herbs of Louisa, of thyme, the flowers and scents of jasmine, roses, calling in the power of rose quartz, citrine, quartz, Feeling the warmth of Mother Gaia in our entire bodies. Feel yourself enwrapped in a golden shield with fire around it that you are protected by all the elements, fire, water, air, space. Earth, you're protected, you're loved, release any thoughts, any feelings that don't contribute to your inner peace. Allow Holy Mother to guide you to your inner peace, your highest journey. Surrender to our love. Let's take another deep breath. We'll do um, one round of tapping and I will guide you with this. So we're going to tap on our wrist, our left wrist with our right hand. I am limitless, I am limitless. I love and accept myself, I love and accept myself. The side of the left hand, I am limitless, I love and accept myself. Right near the left pinky, I am limitless, I love and accept myself. The right wrist, I am limitless, I love and accept myself. On the side of the right hand, I am limitless, I love and accept myself. Near the pinky of the right hand, I am limitless, I love and accept myself. On the top of the head with both hands, I am limitless, I love and accept myself. Between your eyebrows, I am limitless, I love and accept myself. Above your eyebrows, I am limitless, I love and accept myself. On your temples, I am limitless, I love and accept myself, I love and accept myself. On your upper lip, I am limitless, I love and accept myself, I love and accept myself. On your chin, I am limitless, I love and accept myself, I love and accept myself. On your collarbone, I am limitless, I love and accept myself, I love and accept myself. Under the arms, I am limitless, I love and accept myself, I love and accept myself. Take a deep breath. Very gently and slowly open your eyes. And I want to um, thank you for being here today. Thank you for participating. And I invite you to tap yourselves and to meditate.
breathe, take some time to be outside in the sun and whatever weather it is um, where you are to um, really soak in all of nature's gifts and allow the energy to enliven and refresh you and to really take this time to self-care. I want to thank all our guides, God's source universe, our power animals, our ancestors, our Palladian starseed family, um, our psychic gifts, uh, the trees to assist us, that's assisting us in this process. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And I look forward to seeing you next week as we um, usher in the full moon in Libra. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Aho, and so it is. Namaste, Om Shanti, Shalom.